I've been doing a few tutorials on using your Garmin watch and today I'll be showing you how to input your own running workout using an interval run as the example. So stay tuned. Hey there, Wrinkled Runner here. If you want to get the most out of your Garmin, at some point you may want to explore adding in a running workout. And whether you have a coach or get plans from the internet or do your own thing, having your workout on your watch and ready to go can take away the headache of having to figure anything out on the fly, especially if you run early in the morning, like a lot of us do. Utilizing the full scope of what's available to you on your Garmin will add variety to your training and then hopefully get you excited to try new things with your running. Okay, so we're going to go into our Garmin Connect app and this is the home screen. And you're going to want to go into the more, the three little dots in the lower right hand corner to get to the, funnily enough, the more screen. And when you get into there, you're going to hit training. So there's our training right there. And then you're going to see workouts right at the top and you're going to go into there. A few weeks ago, I showed you how to input your own strength workout. So if you wanna see that, there'll be a link in the description and you can watch until the end of this video and it's going to be on the end screen of this as well. So go to the blue plus sign to create a workout and we are going to go to the run workout and you see they have a set up kind of a default uh, workout for you to do with a warm up a run and a cool down now what we're going to do as an example is we're going to set up an interval workout you can add notes to the workout if you want now keep in mind at the end they will ask you for a name for the workout so sometimes i'll put in the notes what the workout's going to be if you know, there's a certain pace that I want to do it at, things like that. But we're, we won't do that for now. For the warm up, we are going to jog for one mile. And you can see the, the let button pressed as the duration type. So that means that when you are in your workout and you're doing your warm up, it is not going to go to the next thing, which would be the run, uh, unless you push the let button press. So make sure that well what i do is because i don't i don't like to bother with that because i always forget is i then change it to distance or time um, we're going to do a five we're going to do a five minute warm-up so we're doing it for um, time you're going to change it to five minutes and intensity target for a warm-up you really i mean you don't have to <laughs> worry about because it's a warm up it should be very very light okay so we're going to go into the run now and um, we're going to hit run and that's the step type and this is going to be by time because we're doing intervals my favorite interval run to do is a 30 second on 45 second off run 10 times and it's quick so you're going to be running pretty hard but i, I just i love doing that and my husband, he actually likes to do it too. So uh, those are kind of the, when I, wanted him, when I want him to do speed work, I'll, I'll suggest something like that and he'll want to do it. Now, if you go into target type, this is where you're going to want to set something up if you're uh, doing specific workouts for a specific pace or a specific cadence. So you can set a target pace or set a target cadence. And this is very helpful if you're trying to up your cadence a bit. And my advice is to try and do that uh, slowly over time by putting in some workouts in the middle of your run or towards the end of your run to um, teach your legs how to turn over faster. So you could put a target cadence in there. And you can also do it by heart rate zone or custom heart rate. But we can do a target pace now they put in a target range and you can change that if you want to. So I'm gonna say for my uh, 30 seconds on, I want to do a between a 7.15 and a 7.45 pace for that. Okay, so we change it, done, there's your target. So then your watch is going to tell you if you are hitting that or not while you're running that. Now it's 30 seconds, so it might take a while for it to be able to tell you anything, and you'll already be done. 
but it's something that you can look back on in your at the end of the workout and look at your splits they'll divide up the intervals and you'll be able to see what you were doing so we're going to add a step because we are actually going to rest then for 45 seconds and we'll call that recover we are going to do that by time and we are going to do that for 45 seconds Okay, and we aren't having any target for that. So that is a recovery. Now we are going to add a repeat because we are going to do this 10 times. Technically you could delete these run, recover, and then just put in add repeat and then this'll, this'll come up. I, but I wanted to show you the regular section of that uh, because if it's not an interval run, you're going to be setting it up differently. So this is why I did it this way. But if you were just going to do an interval run, you could just hit the add repeat button and this will pop up. So we're going to go back and we're gonna change this to time in 30 seconds. Um, I won't do a target type for now. And then the rest is by time and that's already in there and we're going to do that for 45 seconds. So two times we are actually going to, we want to do this 10 times. And since we already have one in there, we're just going to say nine times. Okay. And then you have a cool down. This says lap button press. Um, I just want to do it by distance. We're going to do it for one mile and that's all set up like that. Okay. And so you can see, you can add another step, change that. Uh, you can do whatever you want. So you'd be able to set up whatever workout that you happen to have. When you have the workout set up the way you want, you're going to hit the save button in the upper right hand corner. And this is where you can give the workout a name. And we're going to call this a sample run and hit the save button. Okay, now, if you forget to do that, it will give you a prompt whether you want to discard that workout or save it, which is nice because um, sometimes in other things, I've not saved it and then wondered where it was. Now, what you're going to want to do is make sure that you are sending this to your watch. So you're gonna hit that little phone and the arrow up in the upper right hand corner. You're going to see that this is compatible with the Forerunner 245, which is what I'm using. And then you're going to be able to send it to that device. When you sync, that workout will show up in your watch. In order to do that, just as a refresher, is you can go to the home button, hit the arrows, and your watch and your phone will sync up, and then it will send that workout to your watch. Okay, so to get to this on your watch, you're going to go into it and um, as if you're going on a regular run. So you're going to see the regular screen and then when you hit it again you're going to see the options and whatever the up button is for you you're going to go into this uh, right here and you can scroll down to see a bunch of other things but we are interested in workouts to get to the workout that we created so you're going to scroll down and you're going to see all the different runs that you've either created or different things that you uh, that the watch includes and we are going to go and find sample, which is our sample workout. So for here, you can just either do the workout or you can view the workout. And to view it, you just see all the steps that you're going to do. And you're just gonna go use the down button and you'll be able to see everything that you can do. So you can see on this one, it's cool down until lap press. Uh, so sometimes I like to look at a workout in the watch view so that I can be reminded of different things that it may have you do. Okay, so we're going to go back. So that's my back button on the 245. We're going to go back up to do workout, hit that, and then it tells you start the timer. Don't ignore that <laughs> um, because I've run and run and run and then realized, hey, you know, I think a mile should have gone by and then looked down at my watch to realize that I never started the timer. So that there sets up your run and you can go. And so you can see here you're in the warm up phase. And um, I 
think we set that up for five minutes. And so that's gonna count down for five minutes. And obviously I have no step pace because, um, or distance because I'm not moving. So anyway, you end the run just like you do uh, with anything else. You can either resume, you can save, resume later, lap, back to start, recovery, discard. So you can see all those things. We're going to discard that because we really didn't do anything with it. <laughs> Depending on what kind of Garmin you have, that's gonna determine whether you can send a workout, a particular workout to your watch or not. So when you set one up and then send it to your device, if it's not compatible, you're gonna see that on your phone. For example, I tried to play with setting up an interval workout using the HIT option, H-I-I-T, but that's not compatible for the 245 that I have. I'm gonna link you down below to some videos and poster podcast episodes that I've done on adding running workouts to your training, and you can check those out if you would like to. Taking yourself to the next level of running means adding in some workouts and learning how to get the most out of your running body. Next week, I'll be talking about what age grading is and doesn't matter for you. Check out the description for links to my blog and podcast and sign up for my once a month newsletter where I share everything from all of my content channels. If you are in the Western New York area and looking for a running coach or even just curious about what one can do for you, follow the link to my coaching website. Currently in 2022, I'm only open to folks in the Buffalo area for one-on-one -on -one in-person coaching, but I may venture into virtual coaching in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the run.